Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. Today we have our journal junk box, our journal junk sack, and our kids creative writing box. So let's get into them and check them out. time of month. I love journaling. I love writing everything down. I love the books. I love the pens. I love all of the things we get to embellish all of those things that I just mentioned each month. It's just such a fun bag, box, or sack, depending on what you want to do. The journal junk sack, which is what we will start with, is just like the journal junk box. It has the same theme each month. You just get a fewer products. You get a smaller journal, perhaps, just a few less products, but still lots of fun stuff to play with. The journal junk sack, if you do it month over month, is $27.95. As with all of these, if you extend your subscription, you can bring the cost down. Ooh, I don't know. I can see the back of the journal, though, and it is gorgeous. We have our journal junk sack card it just gives you these socials on the back and that kind of thing and they are just for the record they are on insta at dg journal company they have a facebook vip group probably a million great ideas i should go over and check that out i bet it's people with wonderful ideas with what to do every with everything we receive that is they say search dg journal vip and you can sign up at journaljunkbox.com. I will put that information down below for you. I will put the link and my code, Catherine Love, because with my code, you will get 15% off your first box. We have our affirmation card. It says, you're brilliant. Of course. No. <laughs> That's, we see, and I just made that face like, oh no, not me. Yes, we should acknowledge it. We are brilliant. You are brilliant. You are smart. You are beautiful. You are brilliant. Put that somewhere in your journal. Maybe use it as a bookmark so that every time you see it, you can think, you know what? You're right. I am. Next out, ooh, these are gorgeous. We have a tag kit. Let's take these out and look at them. They are gorgeous. You have the string that you will put at the top of each one. Looks like that. You could use these however you want. You can put them in your journals. You can write on the back of them. Like you could tell a story on the back of one of these. And when you put it in your journal, it would... I've seen that done. You can use it for gifts. If you don't necessarily journal or you don't want something this big in your journal or your scrapbook, you could absolutely use these for gifts. If you don't happen to have a card, or write a nice little note on the back, but that one's gorgeous. These two are beautiful. They look kind of like marble. I hope you can see that. This one has that very Paris ticket look to it. These are the other designs. These are very cool. I like tags, they are fantastic for scrapbooking. And they also have in the back these circular stickers that you can just take out and you can select which one you'd like to put around here just to give it a little more of a finished look. Very nice. We have our monthly pen. She's bright and pink, you guys know. How much do I love that? Ooh, it's like old fashioned. I feel so fancy now. So very nice. Has the protective tip on it that we always have. It says pink, let's see what it writes in. Nope, it writes in black, but it writes in very nicely. This is the kind of pen that I generally like to put in my purse. I love a nice capped pen in my purse. That said, it's so pretty. It would look nice just sitting on my journal. Mm, not sure how we're using that yet. We have stickers. These are also from Heidi Swap. They say, you are my treasure, perfect day. There's a real cool vintage camera look going on. These are, everything this month is just gorgeous. So, so pretty. And then we have our notebook holding up to the everything this month is so gorgeous. Look at those lovely flowers. It's on the front and the back. It is a soft journal. I personally love the smaller ones that you get in the journal junk sack because I like to do targeted books. I have books that I journal with. I have books that I meal plan with. I have books that I keep gift lists in. Like this morning, my mom and dad's birthdays are coming up. So I was talking about that and my mom had some ideas, which is fantastic, but there were extras. <laughs> so I also have a few Christmas ideas now. Loving that. But I keep books to do that kind of thing. And oh my gosh, look how gorgeous it is when you open it. What's going on here? It is a nice lined notebook something going on in the back. It's such a beautiful journal. Yes, there is room for notes in the back and this is the back page. How? That is our journal junk sack. That was a really good. We have the journal, the pen, the tags, the gorgeous stickers, and our affirmation card. All right, let's go into the journal junk box and see what we've got. The journal junk box is $52.95 per month, but you can also bring that down by extending your subscription. We just lost some of our paperwork. 
that is what it looks like each month when we open it. We have our August card. It says Blossom and Believe August. So that would have been the theme for the Journal Junk sack also, which explains why it's so many beautiful flowers with the Blossom and Believe gives us a little list of what's in the box. We have our prompts of things that we can journal this month, just for example. Describe a time you thrived after facing a challenge. Has your self-confidence evolved over the years? Yes, yes, and yes. For my girls who have surpassed their 50 year mark, can we all agree that your confidence grows, that you, at the very least you get to the point where you think, Meh. What do I care? You start caring so much less. You realize that, what is the saying? Those who love you, it doesn't matter to, and those who it matters to don't love you. Once you can embrace that and realize that the people who love you love you and they know you're doing your best, it makes everything else so much better. And then of course we have our journal junk box card. Okay, let's see what's in here. Right on top they have a canvas pencil bag. That's what I'm gonna call it. I pass along so many of the pencil boxes that we get to the girls. With four grand girls, all of school age, they're a great thing to pass along. This one looks a little more grown up. I think I'm going to keep this one because we do each month get new pens. And I would like to have a place to go and grab a new one when I feel like I want a new one or if I want a black one or one that's a highlighter. Just all of the pens that we get, this would be gorgeous to keep it in. The inside is lined and it has the tag from... By BV by Bruno Visconti. So that is who it is made by. It's just gorgeous. I see an avocado, at least on my side. I see an avocado, looks like a pepper. We have trees. Yeah, pretty much the same on both sides. That is gorgeous. Totally getting used as a pencil bag. Oh, next out we have a stamp. <sighs> what was it called? What was the stamping called? We did as our group, those of us that did so much scrapbooking back in the day, we made our own cards. Stamp it up. Was it stamp it up, guys? Help me with that. It, stamp it up, right? We had a girlfriend that had the parties all the time and we accumulated so many stamps. I'm giving a lot away, but this takes me back <laughs> and it makes me wanna get my stamps, all my old stamp pads out. Oh my gosh, we had the glue that you could stamp into the glue and then stamp on your card and then sprinkle it with a glitter that you could then put a heat gun on and it just made it shiny. Please tell me some of you guys were out there doing the same thing, but look at what a gorgeous floral that is. That's what made me think about doing the shiny ones. That is so pretty. It would make such a gorgeous design on a card. By the way, let me tell you, the garden floral pouch was by BV Designs, $10.99 value, and the floral cluster rubber stamp is $6.49. I'm in here to tell you right now, we used to pay a whole lot more for stamps than that many moons ago. Next out, I have some pretty butterfly dimensional stickers. Can you see? that the wings are lifted on that, that would be so pretty in a journal or in a scrapbook. Those would be so pretty. Love stickers. We also have some paper clips. These are so stinking cute. I'm sure one of my girls is gonna want these. How adorable is that? It looks like a little kitty. Is it supposed to be like a cat and a dog or maybe a cat? I'd say it's a cat a llama and a hedgehog. I know right away which granddaughter is gonna want these. She has always loved hedgehogs and llamas. Those are so cute. And it says, hello, yay you, and thanks. Those are so cute. Next out, we have a basic bulldog clip. These are just those clips that will hold so many papers together. Yes, please and thank you. I always have something happening in my life where I am in need of a big clip. You can use these decoratively too if you want, but I have to tell you, I find them far more functional. Like I have for my taping, I've shown you guys the papers that I keep together that I keep saying, I'm gonna put in a notebook. I'm gonna write all the information down and put it in a notebook. I haven't done it yet. I'm doing it soon. This would be so handy to clip them together with. Next out, we have our pin for this box. It's just like our pink one, but it's blue, yay. That is what it looks like on the inside. Looks just like the other one. This is gorgeous. So now I don't have to decide. I have one for my purse and one to set on my journal. That is perfect. Love a new pen. I know you guys probably think you get all of these pens and I use them. I give some to the kids if they're super duper cute, like the ones with the butterflies or the donuts that we got last season, astronauts. I did keep that one unicorn pen. <laughs> Can you tell I still carry some guilt from it? It's okay. I love it, but I do use the pens. I just love a pen. 
This is die cut cardstock acetate. These are gorgeous and they are just die cut acetates, like it said, that you can add to your journaling, you can add to your scrapbooking. It's just to make everything prettier. I love when I'm doing my journaling books just to put things in them that when you open up that page, you think, oh, that's so pretty. Things that just make you smile. It's just about doing things that make you happy when you do your journaling. And I think, yeah, if you lift it, I'm not gonna open this because there's so many, but if you lift underneath, it shows you what you're getting in there. Those are gorgeous. I love that they're the acetate because they've, I hope it comes across, they've added glitter. Can you guys see the glitter they added? They are gorgeous. Last out in this box, we have our notebook. This is a bigger one. This is bigger than the six by seven, but I'd say smaller than the eight by 11. Does it tell me now that I'm guessing at all this? No, it doesn't. And it is from BB also. I love the spiral ones, the spiral bound notebooks. I always try and do my kitchen things in because I write recipes down or things I wanna try, or if I'm standing in there making a grocery list, it lies flat. And in the kitchen, I find that fantastic. I mean, it's great in any notebook, but especially in the ones that you're using in the kitchen. And how beautiful. That is so beautiful. And the inside is just nice lined paper. Gorgeous. That was the journal junk box. We got our notebook, our die cut acetate, this nice bulldog clip to gather up whatever you need to gather, the pen, the adorable paper clips, the beautiful butterflies. <laughs> now I'm just covering everything else up. The pencil bag that is so gorgeous. Let's see if I can move my thumb, perfect. And this really pretty floral stamp. All of that in the journal junk box. Okay, let's move on to the kids creative because this is maybe the fourth month that they've had it and it is always amazing. If you've ever thought about getting a subscription box for your kids or your grandkids, this one is amazing. This is the kids creative journaling box. It is $37.99 and I'm sure just like the others, if you take it out over time, it becomes less expensive. When you open it up, we have our paperwork. Take all of that out and it says creative kids write. Let me push the peanuts aside a little bit. So oop, losing peanuts. I'm gonna push the peanuts aside a little bit so you can see, look, there's little pops of color down in there. Already looking like fun stuff. And the August card says planting positivity, August. And that is what the front looks like. The back, no cheating, has a little bit of the information about what we have in here. So let's just dig right in. Right on top, we have a shovel. So I think we are literally going to be planting positivity. Yeah, my girls are gonna love this. Actually, my husband might like this. The paperwork says gardening shovel. Prepare the way for new flowers with digging fun. And the picture they're showing is blue. So I think probably this came in multiple colors. Next out. We have gloves, they're little kid size gloves. That is so cute. The underside has the little nubblies that are kind of like the silicone rubber to make digging easier. That is what the front looks like. It has the cute mushrooms on it. I think it's kid sized. It looks very small. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, I can't get my hand in there. I was gonna try and shove my hand in here, but it won't fit, but as luck would have it, I have four granddaughters. I'm sure one of them, <laughs> much to their parents' chagrin, will love these. Following theme, we have Be Happy. It is bee feed wildflower mix. So for drawing bees to your house, you know, we all want the bees. We need the bees. We need them to pollinate. We need the bees. That is a fun idea. So you are ready to go out and do it, unless of course you're allergic to bees, then don't do that. This wildflower mix provides nectar and pollen to honeybees, wild bees, hummingbirds, Ooh, butterflies, and other pollinators. Next up, we have stickers. These are so cute. They are like the transparent ones, but just colors. That is so cute. Kids, what kid doesn't like stickers? And adult-wise, that's why I always say about this box. Although the gloves would not fit an adult unless you had very small hands. This is also always a good box for adults. Next out we have, wow. It is a Sargent 20 Classic Brush Tip Markers. Yeah, I keep an art cart. That's what we call it for my kids. And it's one of those carts, you know the carts from Ikea that are metal and there's three, yeah, three layers. We'll say is there three or two? Definitely three, three layers. We keep it loaded up with the washi tape that I get from this, the markers. I have different kinds of papers. Back from my stamping era, I have a lot of different kinds of papers. I got into the chalks that made it look like watercolors. So much. It is full of all three, all three levels are just chock-a-block with crafting items. And I will put this in there for them because who doesn't love a marker? Next out, 
maybe the one for the Nana. We have pens. Oh, good, there's five. I can pick the one I like and share with the girls if I want, because there's four girls. Although, I bet two of them can't have ballpoint pens. So, yay, three for Nana, two for sharing. That is what that looks like. I, you guys know, I love a pen. Look how fun these are. I love the graphic art of that. The colors and the kind of vintage 70s sort of look. That's probably what I like about it, is they, they have a kind of a vintage look to them. I'm writing vintage with it. It's got a very fine tip. I don't know if you guys can tell, I just wrote the word vintage. That has got a very fine tip to it, but very nice. Next we have a journal. Very pretty, another floral journal. It has the, so you can, <laughs> was that expressive enough? It has the nice band, elastic band, so that you can secure it to help keep it closed. And oh, wow, and on the inside, this would be great for one of the girls. Well, because it's a kid's box, it's a wider rule. So it makes it easier for the kids to write on. That is really nice. I'm sure one of my littles will love this. Very pretty. And last out, we have something big. I'm not sure what that is. Let me make sure it's last out. Nope, it is not last out. I missed a pencil. Oh gosh, it's got that vintage look. I'm, I'm loving this 70s flower power vintage look. Some people would call it 60s. I'm not a 60s baby. Well, I mean, I guess technically I'm a 60s baby. By the time I realized it, it was the 70s. That is so cool looking. And then we have this, and I am not sure what it is yet. It says it is the 3D stand up and stickers. What is this? Oh, it's closed. Ooh, nice flip with it. It closes. What is it? Oh. Stand me up by inserting the stand in the slot provided to create. So you can do these punch outs in the beginning. Is it more than one? Oh yeah. There are punch outs that you can do and you can make them stand up. That is cool. And then I guess just a coloring book. What does this oh, say? Oh wow. So yeah, it's a coloring book, but like these are the two pages and you pull this down, and then I guess you'll bend that with these two pages, and you have like set design that you can then use, oh my gosh, I have littles that are gonna love this, that you can use your punch outs in for this set. That is such a fun, let's look at another one. What a fun idea. Look at the snail and a gnome, and you can do your little, oh, is that not the cutest? Oh my gosh, I wish I had another one of these. My littles are gonna love this. Look at this one has a unicorn and a little path. That is adorable. Here, let's read more about this. This is by American Crafts. That is so cute. I might have to look on Amazon and see if I can get another one of these because there's a four and a six year old and they are both gonna love this. What a fantastic idea. See what I mean? The kids create a box. This is their fourth month out and they are fantastic fantastic boxes and I have talked to a lot of people who have boxes and look for boxes for their kids or their husbands what a great kids box we have the 3d coloring slash pop-ups how adorable is that the journal these colorful fantastic markers these colorful pins that make me think so vintage and daisy and then the pencil that's kind of like them we have the butterfly stickers and then we'll just call it our gardening set where we have the shovel the adorable gloves and the wildflowers what a great box. Isn't this just adorable? Such a fun box. That is journal junk box. There's something for everybody. They have the smaller one if you just want a journal junk sack. They have the bigger box if you would like a journal junk box. They have the kids box if you would like to get it for your kids or if you would enjoy doing it yourself. Absolutely zero side eyes thrown if this is what you would like to have for your box. I wanna thank Journal Junk Box for sending this over. I will put their link below with my code, Katherine Love. It will get you 15% off your first box. Thank you so much for coming by, guys. I appreciate you taking the time here with me. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos, and I will see you again really soon. Bye, guys.